Hi Colin, it's Wednesday. So, it's been a while since I've made a video, and it's been a while since either of us have said anything to YouTube. And there are a lot of reasons for that, but the biggest one is this. I'm lazy, and I didn't have any ideas for a video and I wasn't really thinking about it until I remembered something that I should have thought of so long ago. Colin, at the end of your last video, you asked me and you asked our viewers, what is a human being and what makes a good human existence? Now, those are two staggeringly big questions that no single person really has all of the answers to, and by their very nature, they are meant to be subjective questions. Question one, to me, is not very interesting because a human being, biologically, is just another animal. We are a species that has managed to evolve throughout the thousands and thousands of years that we've been here to grow and change and develop in a way that other animals have not because of our own genetic advantages. And I could talk about the evolution of our brains and the evolutions of our societies, but that's not really what interests me. What interests me here is the second question that you asked us. Because that's a really good question. What is a good human existence? What makes our time here worthwhile? How do we say that one person's life was more or less valuable than another's? How can we say that we've lived a full life? To be completely honest, I'm not sure what my answer to this question is. I mean, what is it that makes your life truly significant? What makes it valid? What makes it whole? Is it the job that you do in your community? Is it the family that you raise? Is it the friends that you make? Is it about the lasting influences that you leave on every single person that you interact or meet with? What is it that makes our existence matter? I think that a good human existence is one that is both well-rounded and fulfilling for the individual. If you are satisfied with your life, if you are happy with the choices that you have made, if you are happy with the outcomes of everything that you have done, if you are at the very least satisfied by the impressions that you have left on others, and I think that that is a very powerful thing. Many of us have grand aspirations in our lives to change the world in some way, shape, or form, however big or small it may be for us. Everybody wants to be remembered. Everyone wants to feel important. But I think that a good, well-fulfilled life is one that has made you and the people around you happy. We can talk about inventing new technologies, curing diseases, doing amazing things for our societies. But does any of that really matter when you're about to die? Do you remember all of these grand things that you did for society? Or do you think about the people that have always been there with you and stood by you and cared about you and cared for you? All the people that have made you happy, all the people that have made you laugh, all the people that have made you smile. I feel like it is our personal connections with others that make our life fulfilled, that make our lives really truly have meaning. Regardless of whatever impact we may leave behind on the world, it's the impact that we leave behind on people, on each other. That's what really matters. And that philosophy is probably not going to get me into any history books or any science textbooks or anything like that. I think the human experience is just that. It's human and it's about people and it's about making these personal connections. And I think that that's what's truly important. That's why we're doing this, to maintain our connection to each other. That's why we have our relationships with our family, with our friends, with our loved ones. All of these relationships exist because they make us feel human and they make us feel alive and they make us feel fulfilled. Colin, I think that a good human existence is completely subjective to what that person wants out of their life. But if I had to say something that was significant for me in terms of making a good human existence, it's about the relationships. There are more levels and layers that can exist beyond that, but at the root of it, that is a key aspect of making a good human life and making a good human existence. At least, that's how I feel about it. I hope I get to hear your take on things soon. I hope that other people respond with their own opinions and ideas on what makes life worthwhile and what makes life meaningful. Because I will be the first person to admit that I do not have all the answers, and I'm totally okay with that. So I'd just like to leave you by saying I'm glad to be back. I'm sorry it took so long for this video to be up, but it's here now. And I hope that you guys keep thinking about these quick, big questions, and I'd like to leave you with another one. What drives our empathy? What makes our human empathy so strong? Why do some people lack it? And why is it so important to us as a people? Why is it so important to our species? That's all I have for now, so Colin, I'll see you soon. And as always to our viewers, thanks for watching.